Now we are on a bus because the train schedule was, the, I mean, the bus schedule to Zarnesht was different on Sundays, so there wasn't a bus to Zarnesht until 12 o'clock. So we're going to do something else. Maybe, maybe we're going to go see the Gypsy Kid Center today, Kidland Roma. Um, but anyhow, Daniela was just telling me what it was like in the former GDR, the German Democratic Republic. It was very democratic, by the way, just like the United States is very democratic, especially the school system, where the students have no voice at all. Just a little extra sarcasm at the same price. Three. So anyhow, she was saying that, um, and she's, she's still waking up, so I'm not going to take her beyond the camera. She's, she's camera, camera resistant this morning. You know, in the American schools, if a kid doesn't want to do something, they say they're like, they're treatment resistant or something. They got all these terms to basically say, like, you have to become one of us, like, one of us, or you have a mental problem, we're going to give you pills, we're going to do this, or that, and everything to make them go against their true natures and instinct and become like adults. It's, it's scary. They're so good at it. And it's like they won't stop at anything. They'll, they'll even accept a certain number of people killing themselves. A guy, actually, a guy from Norway told me that a certain level of suicide is acceptable in society. Okay. Something like this. He said basically, well, you can't keep everybody happy. So a few people can't. can't handle the society and they kill themselves, it's part of, like, something you have to accept. Yeah, it was the military. I think in Norway, Norway everybody has to be in the military, all the, all the, in Germany now, you still have to do military service if you're a guy, don't you? Um, you do either military service or you do a social service. Or social service, service yeah. Okay. So, anyhow, um, she was saying that in the former GDR, uh, in other words, East Germany, as we as we know it, um, that in in the mornings, every morning, one of the classmates, one of our classmates, would be like a little like inspector or uh, let's say Gestapo agent. They would say, stand up and make and check on all the students. And they would check to make sure how they had to stand up. We got on this, we got on this discussion because I was talking about how, about how in South America the kids have to stand up. When the teacher walks in, they have this artificial, ridiculous, distorted, unnatural view of respect. And I said, they think respect is standing up when the teacher walks in. And I got on that because I was telling her about how I sat on a desk one time and in a university there, and I asked the students if, how they felt about that, if they thought a teacher should stand up or it's okay to sit on the desk. And, um, um, and um, anyhow, some of the students thought a teacher shouldn't sit on the desk. So I asked them, how many of you believe in God? And basically, everybody raises their hand because it's South America, where the Spanish people invaded, killed everyone, and turned them into Christians, and Catholics in particular. So um, then I said, do you think God wants us to be comfortable? And I asked, I think I asked Daniela that, but anyhow, we have to get off here. So I'll see if I can keep talking and get off the bus at the same time, not drop the laptop. <laughs> There's Daniela laughing. I love her laugh. She's in oh, now, now she picked up my cell phone. It's good to have her around. So there's the bus we just got off of, number 16. Now, okay. Thank you. Okay, so, say goodbye, bus. I'm going to stop this because this has been acting up lately and I don't know if it's really recording.